Yo, what's up everyone? I'm SDG. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the most popular pro controller, the Scuf Instinct Pro. This controller is available for the PS4, the PS5, and the Xbox. And yes, they're all capable with PC. First off, out of the box, the controller is presented to us with nice standout environment colors and with protective film placed at the back to keep the controller from minor damage while traveling. And also at the front, it came with this, this type of foam material. I guess this is from keeping the analog from breaking or anything like that. So I guess while you're traveling also, it protects that. First out of the accessory box, we have an extra pair of convex analog sticks. One short, one high. But on my controller, I chose concave. Me personally, I think concave is better because you can actually fit your thumb inside of the stick. But that's my opinion. You guys can choose whatever you want. Look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. This faceplate is themed vandalized. On the website, you can customize for more than 20 custom faceplates, included 2019's Modern Warfare Damascus Camo. Most important, the best feature about this controller and why I feel the reasons at the top of the list is because of the mouse click triggers. These things are insanely good, but of course, it takes time to adapt to them. Next is a very nice looking USB to C to A cable. This has carbon fiber looking just like the analog sticks. This cable is six feet long and I'd rather game with this cable over batteries to avoid connectivity issues and plus the controller feels much lighter. Now out of the box, it comes with a set of dual cell batteries that I never used, but what the heck. If you don't want to use batteries, use USB-C cable. You can always settle for a battery pack. I got this off of Amazon for approximately $24. For a set, you can't beat that. Now, if you just wanted to scuff at a cheaper price, you can also just go to the website and they have a section where you can actually buy a refurbished controller, which I'm pretty sure should be in great condition. But if not, you can always send it back. And now to the instructions manual. Well, who really needs that? That's why I'm here, right? So on the front, there's a mic mute button. That's a huge plus. Instead of reaching for your headset, you could just tap mute on the controller. On the back, there are four mappable buttons that can be assigned to any button in the front. All you have to do is press the button at the back to navigate to which profile you would like to assign the buttons to. Hold the button you would like to pair, click two buttons together, then the controller should flash yellow. And now press the button at the back again and boom, you're all set. To remove the face player, all you have to do is go to the side of the controller, grip inside the crack, and just take it apart, just that easy, just like that. And at the back, the back piece is actually magnetic, so you don't need to apply no force to remove and to put back on. Yo, to sum everything up, I think this is an awesome controller. Would I recommend it? Yes, I do. But this controller is pretty pricey. It's $250. I feel like I should have got way more in the box for that price, like a case or something. And I know on the website you can get a case, but that's extra money too. But man, it's a great controller, but I got another option for y'all too. This is a more affordable option called the PDP Rematch. This controller was $30 and it's a great option. The only bad thing about it, it doesn't have the mouse clicks, but you can watch the review on this controller that I did months back right at the top of this video. Just click it.
all right guys that's it man if y'all like this video go ahead and drop the like you no know, sub then you tell your mama your brother your sister cousin everybody about this video bro let's grind it up man you no know, shout out to your boy and i appreciate y'all watching love y'all thank y'all and peace